the new Balrog Sea. B1 is claiming this gets 32 and a half miles of range or 52 kilometers. Let's find out if that holds up in real world conditions. And as I turned the remote on, of course I remembered to charge the board fully before this, but I didn't charge the remote, but I guess we'll see if that holds up as well. Let's get going. Straight off the bat, I've made no modifications to the board, made sure it was in good shape before this ride, but otherwise this is completely out of box. And you can take in the scenery as I lay out the ground rules for this. Um, obviously, I am on some really nice pavement. That is going to help out, but otherwise, I am not on flat ground, you'll notice. I wanted this to be realistic, uh, so I've got good pavement to give the board a fair chance, but we're not going to avoid the reality of riding around. It's not like you're gonna just be on flat ground all the time, unless you're living in Kansas. Shout out to Kansas and Nebraska. Uh, all my e-skate homies skating through the corn. And then the other thing I'm doing is keeping it on speed mode 3 or 4 the whole time. I wanted this to be like you would want to ride if you were really pushing this board. Not like, what can you possibly get out of the range if you keep it minimal the whole time, but what is the range of this board for real use? And speaking of real use, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, I, I, am, I am on a mountain. We are putting the test in range test with this one. Uh, not taking it easy and we'll see if the board can hold up to what B1 has stated in these conditions all right so we are two miles in kind of hard to see that two miles in and we haven't used a single notch on the battery yet and that's probably thanks to the meme-worthy 666 watt-hour battery pack, but we're starting to go uphill now. You'll notice all of the fast forward footage, but that's not because I'm trying to make it look like I'm going faster. I'm I'm doing 30 miles per hour. That's like 48 kilometers per hour, I think. So I'm flying. I just this is such a long run that I had to speed the footage up. Otherwise, it'd be an hour. Again, I apologize, you can't quite see it, but that's five miles, and look at the views here. No problems with the board still, just as much juice as I want to give it, we can still fly on this thing. She ain't ready for the air. Fake clothes, same watch, fake crep, same fuck, same squad. One cool advantage about a direct drive motor is there's no loss of energy in a belt or pulley system or the friction of a gear drive. Uh, gear drives are pretty efficient as well, but they can cost a lot more. Um, so, this is maximum efficiency at a good price. When I wear late, fuck what you think, but my work rate celebrate wins like a bird. Three six got a mean list of the track done. You man busy sleeping when I brainstorm as a plan. Link time beyond the underground. I don't even have to ask. Miss laughing with my brother now. I ain't talking about Dan. Catch up when he laughs. Car's gonna try and kill me. Watch out. 
see how we ready up. Short tape with a smile. Haha. Definitely falling off the edge here is certain death. Uh, that's always a nice consequence for taking corners too fast. Spend money what a waste. Times money money pays. You ain't ready for the eighth. She ain't ready for the eighth. And finally, we've gotten to the top, and we're coming back out and down in the most beautiful part of this ride. A jaunting downhill run of over two miles, full speed, high stakes, big consequences, and little room for error. But this wasn't the time to hold back or let up. because this is a real test. And don't we all just want to give more than we should sometimes? Obviously you have to know your limits, but how can you know them if you don't explore them? At this point, the board hadn't shown a single notch of battery going down, and I was already starting to feel exhausted. But the journey hasn't even begun. We're just coming up on 10 miles. The best part of all the downhill was it was recharging the battery I had already used up to this point, so hopefully by the time I get to the bottom of all of this, the bottom of a mountain, I will have had enough to recharge my battery to a decent point. Turns out that might be true. But that doesn't mean there isn't a catch. I'm going down. I gotta come back up. I have yet to use a single bar, but we are still going downhill, so the real game that we haven't discussed here yet is the fact that I have to go back up the entire mountain. Now was not the time to worry about that though. That was some future version of me's issue. Poor guy to uh, deal with. For now, it's just enjoying the downhill ride. Right, we are coming up on 10 miles. I love this road so much because you get the beautiful pavement, but then you get the even better views and it's pretty out of the way in private so you can take all of these beautiful corners and just coast without too much trouble, except for motorcycles. And there we are, we just hit 10 miles, not a single bar gone, we have been charging it downhill for a ways here. But we are now to one of my favorite sections of this whole run. Uh, just enjoy this race track in the Redwoods.
bottom of the mountain, I hit 11 miles and didn't have a single bar gone on the remote, but it had just recharged all the way down. So now it was really time to start thinking about what the halfway point actually is going back uphill. And at 13 miles, I finally used up the first bar of battery, bringing me down to 4 out of 5. And as I started to get close to 15 miles, I realized the natural turnaround would be 16 miles if everything were perfectly equal and flat. So far, it seemed like it might be possible. And I was feeling pretty optimistic about the range I had seen so far. Alright, and that is 15 miles. 15 miles on this thing. We are still going strong. I can tell there's not quite as much acceleration. Uh, I'm on speed 3. I'm still giving it everything it's got. Uh, I can tell the acceleration head is just a tiny bit gone on like the top end of things. But, and we just hit three out of five bars. So it looks like we were at 60% remaining. I'm at 15 miles. The reasonable thing would be to pull it over, turn around, and go for 30 miles in mountainous terrain on this thing. But I am gonna go for it. I'm gonna stick to the 16 miles. We're gonna keep it going a little bit further here uh, before we turn around. And then we are going to go back up a mountain on not as much battery. So we'll see how it goes, guys. All right, there we are. That is 16 miles. Um, made it. The downhill section, the last mile there was even more downhill. Um, it's going to be pretty intimidating. I just came down so much. Uh, right now it is reading 80% of the battery left at 16 miles, but we've been coasting downhill for a ways, so we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna not hold back too much going uphill. Like, I'm gonna do what you usually would do, and we will see how this thing handles if I can get back to where I parked my car. Oh, and, uh, you know, if you like the look of this board or anything else by B1, uh, check out some links and codes in the description. Those help you save money and support the channel. Thank you. All right, we are coming up on 20 miles, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the battery is still holding. I'm ripping it at 3 for the power level. Uh, it's doing well. I still have almost full bars, so we'll see. But looking good at 20 miles. And a reminder, this is what I'm coming up through. Like, this is... <laughs> The battery is a little bit over halfway, but as you can see, this is some extreme stuff. I think it's probably like a 10, 15, even 20% grade in some spaces. It's not that I can't make it up, but it's going to be another 18 miles of this. Uh, excuse me, 8 miles. Bad at math, but 8 miles more of mountain climb. We'll see if this thing can do it. We are at... Three out of five batteries, so I'm guessing we're gonna get halfway at any point. We'll see if I make it. Also, what a testament to these motors, because I am just ripping it uphill. I have been for a while. They have been going for a long time. I think I've been riding for almost 45 minutes at this point. And these left drive motors have given me any overheating issues. They're still performing fine. And that's a testament to B1's design on these things.
we'll grab a chance to see the 12S 3P pack that the Balrog is sporting here, and that's using LG's new L50 MT cells in 21700s, so great output and capacity from these. coming up on 25 miles 25 miles and I gotta say the battery is starting to feel it uh, going uphill we are not as fast as we once were but it can still hit the same top speed I'm still hitting 30 miles per hour uphill uh, it's just not getting there nearly as fast you can start to feel it sag a little bit on the really tight uphills but uh, I'm saving the battery for now. There is 25 miles, we've got seven left to go, and we are still going uphill. But I'm not the only one that knows these roads are perfect. Motorcycle coming. I just switched into gear four. We'll uh, give him a give him a shot. Motorcycles hunt in packs. Alright, we are coming up. There is 30 miles. 30 miles on this thing. Still going strong. Though I did just get the first battery warning at 25% right before this. So there is 30 miles. Two miles left to go. We will get this thing home, I'm pretty sure, with some to spare. Or you will get to watch me walk this board the rest of the way. All right. We are at 31 and a half miles. That means one mile left to go. I'm gonna put it on speed mode four. And we are gonna give it everything it's got for the last bit here. Stay tight. Usually I would not push a battery that's under 25% like this, but it's what you gotta do for the video. And I actually had been carving so much that I put on more mileage coming back than going out. I hit 32 and a half miles at 40 miles per hour and had a little bit to go. We are back to where we started. Different time of day. 33.1 miles later, I accidentally 
got the uh, distance wrong on the end there, but ended up getting some extra distance with all of the carving we're doing. But man, I had it on speed four at the end. I think I was still hitting over like 35 miles per hour on this thing. So I am thoroughly happy with the range that the B1 Bullrog Z direct drive has shown. And shout out especially to these motors because man they held it down we went through some extreme stuff they probably are too hot to touch right now but not a single stall not a single issue ripping up coastal mountains so uh, thanks for staying tuned as usual have a great day